He is known for being a prominent Italian Jesuit priest and a founding figure of the Jesuit China missions. He is recognized for creating the Kunyu Wang Guo a 1602 map of the world written in Chinese characters. His name is Matteo Ricci S.J. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Matteo Ricci, an Italian Jesuit priest who left an indelible mark on the Jesuit China missions. Ricci's journey began in 1582 when he arrived in the Portuguese settlement of Macau to embark on his missionary work in China. It was here that Ricci's brilliance as a scholar and scientist became evident. Ricci's most notable achievement was the creation of the Kunyu Wang Guo a groundbreaking map of the world written in Chinese characters. This 1602 map not only showcased Ricci's cartographic skills but also served as a bridge between Western and Chinese cultures. It was a testament to his dedication to understanding and communicating with the Chinese people on their own terms. But Ricci's contributions extended far beyond cartography. In 1601, he became the first European to enter the forbidden city of Beijing, an honor bestowed upon him by the Wanli Emperor. The Emperor recognized Ricci's expertise in matters such as court astronomy and calendrical science, and sought his services. Ricci's reputation as a scholar and scientist grew as he converted several prominent Chinese officials to Catholicism, fostering a deeper understanding between East and West. One of Ricci's most significant collaborations was with Su Guanqi, a Chinese elite. Together, they embarked on the monumental task of translating Euclid's elements into Chinese, a groundbreaking feat that brought the principles of Western mathematics to China. They also translated the Confucian classics into Latin for the first time in history, opening up a world of knowledge to both cultures. In August 1582, Ricci arrived in Macau, a Portuguese trading post on the South China Sea. He joined the Christian missionary activity, which was mainly limited to Macau at the time. Ricci dedicated himself to studying the Chinese language and customs, becoming one of the first Western scholars to master Chinese script and classical Chinese. Together with his colleague Ruggieri, Ricci embarked on a journey to Guangdong's major cities, Canton and Zhaoqing, in the hopes of establishing a permanent Jesuit mission. In 1583, Ricci and Ruggieri settled in Zhaoqing, where they were invited by the governor, Wang Pan. Ricci's reputation as a mathematician and cartographer preceded him. During his time in Zhaoqing, Ricci composed the first European-style world map in Chinese, known as the Inquan Tuesday. Although the original map is lost, later versions of the map have survived. It is believed that Ricci and Ruggieri also compiled the first Portuguese-Chinese dictionary during their stay in Zhaoqing. Their system for transcribing Chinese words in the Latin alphabet was groundbreaking. Sadly, the manuscript was misplaced and only rediscovered in 1934, published much later in 2001. To commemorate Ricci's time in Zhaoqing, there is now a memorial plaque and a Ricci Memorial Center in the city. After being expelled from Zhaoqing in 1588, Ricci relocated to Xiaoguan and re-established his mission there. He continued his travels and reached Nanjing and Nanchang in 1595. In 1597, Ricci was appointed major superior of the Jesuit mission in China and moved to Beijing. However, due to Chinese intervention in Korea, he was unable to meet the Wanli Emperor. Ricci left Beijing, but not before establishing the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, the oldest Catholic church in the city. In 1601, Ricci received a rare honor and became an advisor to the imperial court of the Wanli Emperor. He was the first Westerner to be invited into the Forbidden City. Ricci's scientific abilities, particularly his accurate predictions of solar eclipses, earned him the emperor's patronage. Ricci had free access to the Forbidden City but never met the reclusive emperor. During his time in Beijing, Ricci converted several important officials and members of the cultural elite to Christianity, including leading agronomist Su Guangqi. Ricci's influence extended beyond religion. He was also the first European to learn about the Kaifeng Jews, being contacted by a member of their community in 1605. Ricci's interactions with the Chinese people and his contributions to scientific and cultural exchange left a lasting legacy in China. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.